America, it's Tamara, and I'm back. I can say that now because I've had a few YouTube postings. Uh, today we're going to do something very simple. We're going to do fettuccine with shrimp and some cream sauce. This is a recipe that I got from a restaurant I worked at about, oh, 11 years ago. And it's traditionally made with chicken, but we're going to substitute it with shrimp today because, uh, well, there's a little story behind that, but we won't tell you just yet. I wanted to introduce a few girls today because I've got some extra lovely help. Got Jackie, and there's Lauren from Livingston, and Miss Fantastic Joy Meyer. Cheers. 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 Yay. Okay. So now that they've done their shots, they're officially ready to come on and cook. So they're going to help me just gather this stuff and get it all together. This is going to take about 15 to 20 minutes all together. That's including the pasta time and the shrimp time and everything. So what we're going to do first is we're going to get a hot pan. We've already got this pan pretty good and hot. And we're going to add some butter. This butter already has a little bit of garlic in it. So we're just going to put that right in there. Can you hear that sizzle? Okay. You see that's going to be smoking right away. So we're just going to turn it down a little bit. Don't be scared of things like this happen. Cooking is never perfect. You just want to be able to control it. Because we're smarter than the pan. So there we have it. It's brown a little bit quicker than I wanted it to. Not a big deal. We're just going to take it off the heat for a second. And we're going to add all our shrimp. And we have babies in the house too. Yes, we do. So here's our shrimp. We've got some tiger shrimp here. These are 16 to 24. And what that means is shrimp is weighed by the amount you get per pound. So in this particular instance, this shrimp is about 16 to 20 that you're going to get per pound. So anytime you see that number behind the shrimp, that's what that means. All right. So we're going to let that cook for just a few minutes. Pan. And then Jackie here is my sister. I don't know if y'all know that or not, but she's my fantastic big sister. She's the only one I got. And she is the one that I dedicated the Chicken So Easy to. So if any of you saw my Chicken So Easy that I had put on there specifically for her and her husband, because they have a beautiful mm, newborn. And, good. <laughs> and here's the husband. <laughs> and we're all trying to get it all together and stick it in the oven. And well, that is the chicken dish I made for them. So. Okay, so why are you making this with shrimp instead of the traditional chicken? Well, thank you for asking, Jackie. It's a great question. You're welcome, Smart. This is a good story. Long story short is uh, this recipe was modified by Jay-Z himself. I was working at this restaurant, and I got a phone call from him, him himself. Um, this is about six months before he became huge here in L.A. So he called up and he modified it with shrimp and we put some shrimp in there for him. And the next day he called again because he loved it so much that he wanted it again. And I caught on to that. So I thought, well, if he liked it, then maybe I'll like it too. And I did. I loved it. And so this dish is fettuccine with sun-dried tomatoes and chicken and scallion. And he just substituted that chicken for shrimp and it's delicious. I can't tell you how good so shrimp is. at our cream because our shrimp is almost done and that's just about where we want it. I'm just going to let that get a little hot. Once you start seeing it bubble around the rims there, you're going to want to add your cheese. And this is Joy's bag. We're just going to add some of this fresh pecorino Lano cheese. I'm just going to test it. Yeah. It's a pecker. Mm -hmm. I'm going to pecker. <laughs> Pecorino. <laughs> so that's going to be that. And then once that gets a little bit melty there and delicious, we're going to add some seasonings, just simple seasonings. I don't think I just said that I'm, I'm like a recipe follower because I do improvise when I don't have a certain ingredient. Absolutely. However, we did that last night. Yes. We didn't have the pineapple. We used grapes in, that, in our, in our coleslaw. But I definitely, I think with me, just because I am a little AR. Anal retentive if you don't know the ingredients. Because that meant by me. <laughs> no, I think, I think that's why I'm, I'm, I tend to migrate more to baking because it's stuff that you can't go like Great chemistry. Yeah. What a great thing to say. This is very true. My sister is very good at baking for that very reason. Again, I mentioned methods earlier. I try and change the methods thinking I can do anything I want. <laughs> science. There's a science to baking. And yes, my sister is right. She makes some fantastic pastries for that. They say cake flour. They mean <laughs> cake flour. I'll say that again. Uh, they do mean cake they flour. They mean cake flour. Like, yeah. For those of you who are like all purpose versus cake. You're and don't think that bread flour, flour can substitute for a cake either because no. you'll be sorely mistaken. You know, it's a couple dollars, you keep it in your pantry, you're good to go. That's all you need to worry about. Yeah, and the best thing about cooking is it's got to be fun, right? So it's fun. If you put in good energy when you're, when you're cooking it, then you're going to have good energy after you eat it. 
And in case anybody's wondering, I wanted you all to know that this is a real situation we have here. This is a family in this house. I don't know if you can hear the babies or not, but that is really going to add to this dish here because it's going to show you that you don't have to be anybody gourmet or have anything just undivided attention put aside. You can just take your food and cook it with the babies in the background. So now we're going to have some fettuccine. Obviously, we've already cooked this fettuccine because we're going to make it real simple for you. And I'm going to have Jackie add the fettuccine while I can tell you when she's going to stop. So we've got a good amount of shrimp here. You see, we've got just enough sauce in there to get about four portions of some fettuccine in there. <laughs> I'm going to add a little bit more cream sauce to that because I can do that. And then she's going to return that right back to that flame there. Is that looking a little more? I think that's great, Jackie. All right, tomorrow. All right. We are a power team now. And God knows Joy's going to pop up on us any time now. All right. For sure. Joy's right around the corner. I'm going to add some scallions to this dish that you're making here, Jackie, because that's part of it. Now I'm making it. I think it's time to add some color. Come here. Look at that. We're adding these scallions just about the last two or three minutes that it's going to cook here because we don't want them to get too overdone or wilty. We just want them nice and grainy to pop and add a little bit of crunch to that pasta as well. So that's what we're going to get from that. And these are some sun-dried tomatoes. And these, I'll have you know, are fantastic in this dish. And you usually can't add fresh tomatoes to an Alfredo dish because it'll start making it into a pink sauce, which is tomatoes and Alfredo mixed. So sun-dried tomatoes add a wonderful flavor, and they will not change the texture of it. I want you guys to know that I actually made these at home today because I forgot to pick some up at the market. I had enough Roma tomatoes, so I just put these on 200 in the oven, and I laid them out with nothing but just themselves, no olive oil or anything, and they are sweet and delicious. And they are just beautiful, Tamara. Thank they you. Really, they really are. They just have that look and that feel of just yum. Now, I just add a little <laughs> bit of salt and pepper to that because I really believe in enhancing the true flavors of the simple ingredients that you're working with. And that's what's going to happen there. So this is post-pregnancy, Jackie speaking, and I find it very, very sad to waste any cheese. Can we add the rest of that cheese? Yes, we can. <laughs> I think that's a fantastic idea. Fabulous. There we have it. And let's just add a few more of those sun-dried, delicious, homemade sun-dried tomatoes. You know, it's very rare that you get homemade anything, so... And I think we're good to go here. We're just going to toss it and let it all get even and hot real quick. And then we're going to make it and show you what it looks like when it's fully done. And once you've finished plating it and everything, this is what you're going to want to get. And that's exactly the dish you're going to want. It's just got a few sun-dried tomatoes on the top to add some color and just a few garnishes on top to make sure every color pops on this plate. And that's what it's going to be. It's fettuccine with sun-dried tomatoes and shrimp, and it should taste this one right now. Okay, good idea. Let me grab us a fork. Yes, grab a fork. Quick, set, go. Here you are, my dear. All right, let's do this. Wait, you don't get one? No, you'll be my sister. Mm. The crunch of the shrimp is so good. Let me do it. Yay! Awesome. So there you have it. This is the wonderfully inspired dish by Jay-Z. He came in and modified a dish that is probably one of the most popular dishes in the last 10 years of this restaurant, and he made it better. So thank you very much, Jay-Z, and thank you, America, for watching. We'll see you next time. Peace out.